going over this. And so we're just getting right to it. Let's go to work! And my name was Bored Andy. <laughs> it is Bored Andy, sorry. Traffic jams, always the trouble. Freeburg have built up a tolerance for the petty horrors of modern life. You'll never see crowds gathering around a beaten passerby. Folks rarely even slow to gawk at a car accident. And street theft doesn't turn heads anymore. Been a long time since people got worked up about stuff like that. So when I ran into a troubled crowd on the way to work, I knew there was something serious going on. Something bad enough to knock these people out of their daily rhythm. And we're talking about people who would step over a corpse if it was blocking the door to the coffee shop. But apparently all it takes is a bunch of leaflets. Or spreading broken glass across Main Street. Or releasing a couple of hundred rats in the ice arena. The mysterious figure taking responsibility for these strange acts goes by the alias Robespierre. Nobody knows who he is, what he wants, or what all this adds up to from the buckets of lard spread on the sidewalk to the This is something I have to go with sands or something. With ostrich feathers. But this strange cross between childhood pranks and cheap theatrics has got the people all worked up. Everyone understands when some Freeburg crook satisfies the basic human need to rob and kill. But when someone steals a lion from the local zoo and locks him in a cell below the courthouse, the people start asking questions. Myself, I kind of like this rogue Pierre. It's not just the pranks he's pulling or his green bull's head emblem. I just like his funny nickname. Rhodes Pierre? Really? Wow. Does that make I'm sure. The Marquis de Lantanac? I don't think so. In the old books about revolutions, I fancy myself the old gunner who goes off to war with a bag of damp powder. Or maybe the innkeeper who tops up the beer kegs with mop water. Sands. It's something that. Hundred percent. This is Sands. Because it's the West. He was used to be a gang in there. Eating. You know. Minister, this is your de new deputy. My son was in a car accident and the doctor is fighting for his life right now. I just can't take manage Yeah, you can have the day off. Who, who came into my office again? Whoever did, okay, good job. Ooh, a guest could thank you for your service, but why wait when you can refill your recollection now? Catalog. And the... In the unrich list catalog, you can always find a, f a rich assortment at the lowest price, possible prices, pre-ordered and safe. Do I have to pay real money? No, I don't think so. I don't want to buy anything anyway, so. I don't want to buy anything yet. I don't really play all the station anyway. Yeah, let's, let's do this. Peaceful. And then there's the serious song, background music there. The Mafia can offer you some very interesting services. You put practically a member of the family now, so it'll be hardly cost you anything. No. Not gonna happen. Crime Trap. The Mafia will falsify a special crime in progress report, and all the officers who arrive at the crimes will be killed. Your new assistant is no Kendrick, but he he's not uh, as useless as he might seem. He can handle some of your duties when you're pressed for the time, but it launches on you, along with any other expenses. Deputy. Hire snitch. Put together important information for you. Send your staff for training. Send employees to inform outdoor party. Buy names. Police, yeah, train him. Uh, Birch Jr. Yeah, I didn't need you to be trained. BBQ, no. Yeah, 
Nothing going on so much. Sand ranch. Got it. <laughs> She's like, oh my god, I hate this job. <laughs> it's like I'm filming three episodes a day. Just with one game. A shoe store clerk reports that two teenagers found the most expensive sneakers on display, tried them on, and then without paying, ran out the shop with new shoes. I will have four knots and birch in this. Proceed. It's not a serious case, so. No need to take it so serious, too. And just listen to music and wait. It's called the science treatment. At the same time, music, so. Peaceful, just relaxing, nothing's really hectic going on. And there's a call. Attempted murder. A man returned from work earlier than usual and found his young wife in bed with her. I don't want to do this. I just want to let him kill. <laughs> the maid called the police and when he saw the husband taking a hunting rifle from the wall ca cabinet. Ooh. And well, we still don't want people to be dead. Go sense free. The teens are standing around the smoking not from the store, admiring their new shoes. Mind if I have a cigarette? Off and caught, officers unharmed. So it's like, hey, mind if I have a cigarette? I'm gonna arrest you for stealing things. <laughs> don't you guys need a warrant? Or, oh right, no, you don't need a warrant for uh, emergency calls. Today in Freegar, we City Hall, hosting premiere Back to the Future. The film distributor have asked the city for an officer to stand at the door. Ensure the visitor don't bring their health and cameras to the theater. I'll put Grant in there. Actually, no, I'll put Birch. I think Birch would be good enough for the job. I mean, he just all he has to do is just guard the door. It's not going to be that hard, right? Tinted wonder, how did that work? Often the caught, officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. That's the important part. Now Stovall now, he's going AWOL. <laughs> he's going high high. I hope you don't betray me. A young father deprived of his parental rights tried to pick up his daughter from school. When he was in outlawed access, he attacked his teacher, knocked her on the ground, and started kicking her. Mmm, bad acment there. I'm gonna put every. I'm gonna try to put everyone. Proceed. This is a bad thing to be happening. Just because he didn't let you in, it doesn't mean you get to kick her. Another business. Mr. Boy, I have a very, I have a very sensitive issue, which our mutual friend, Charles Charles Delay, said you can help me with. As you may already know, I own the largest music store in free. Oh, maybe in your free, free music. Recently, my ex-wife got a half record collection in a lawsuit. There are a lot of rare record rare records. My ex is very afraid of the police and always tries to act like a law abating citizen. And some of your guys went over there in uniform and told her those records were evidence in an important investigation. She just smile and give them whatever they ask for, not even checking into a warrant. Oh. This, 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 this is, this is, no. So what do you want me to do? Do I have to put everybody in there? Yeah, just send them. This is a serious case because they are faking us. Jack, we have something grown going down to the engineer's plant. Into we wouldn't want any policemen crashing the party. I think four thousand would be an officer's request. I mean, I would have to do some assignments by him. Uh, but what are you gonna do? That's a problem. I'll, I'll, I'll hear it out. I'll see the case, what's going on, and then if it's serious, I'll put it in. If it's not, it's just like bribery and, and just taking money. I won't. A guard says that someone got into an exhibition hall, scroll pictures of penises for, of the artwork, and hid it in the closet. 
I really want to take on that. How did that go? Officer caught. Officer unharmed. Sibling is unharmed. Good. Then I want officers to come back. How did this go? Chief, we helped un enrich all rich Viber. And to thank us, he gave us a general Crespo album, The Master. True Robbins prefer prefers glam, so he was really sad at the bar by the time the shift ended. Thank you for your help, Mr. Bo of 3000. I don't think I will need to help Mafias. Come on, someone go to the station. I need to I need to do this. I don't wanna put so much serious things. Yeah, I don't wanna I don't I don't wanna put serious people in this job. It, it's it's nothing serious I think. Uh so I said about three more hours later they're gonna do something bad. That just kinda worries me. All the lights are on the on when the police arrive. The museum caretaker explains that he's only had the job a couple of weeks. He and he's wor he's worried he's going to be fired over this foolishness. The police calm his down, calm him down, and he points out the bathroom stall that the artist locked himself out inside. I don't want to break down doors. They're property. Come out with your hands up, enter the... In case? A th ah, yeah, I knew it. A terrified and terrified young man holding a knife insists that he's engaged in some kind of performance art. That no one understands him. He refuses to surrender and is threatening to stab himself. Peacefully talking. Offender caught. No, officer unharmed. Yeah, just talk it out. You know, we're not trying to threaten you or anything. Okay, one hour later. We're gonna have a call. To take the case or not. If I if I take them out, yeah, there we go. We just received a call from Gans Keeper at the machine factory. He spotted two offenders stealing aluminum from the stealing. Ah, I can't put in support either. At least you guys are not killing anyone, so I'll just leave that to it. I mean, if you were killing someone, I would have just done something else. But since you guys are not killing anyone, I'll just let you guys steal an aluminum. That's how this go. Yeah, skip. Anyways, nobody got hurt, so... Thank you for doing us via he's um, yeah, 4,000. Shut up, I don't like this. Jack, you must have seen the newspaper stories about Thomas Blaine. The retired cop who went saying, uh, yeah, I saw that, and shot a pregnant woman. To ensure this tragedy don't repeat itself, we decided to conduct fight psychological testing for all cops over 50 years of age. That includes you, Jack. Tomorrow morning, Dr. Water, Dr. Alone on Waters Bay is waiting to... For you in the in our office, don't be late. I will be late in the story. Nothing's happening. Can we go home? Yeah, end the day. Oh, we have to go for the night shift. Okay, end the day. Everybody, good job. Oh, I can order to work to tomorrow too. No, it's okay. You don't need to work tomorrow. You guys have a lot of filing to do anyway. City Treasury doles oh ninety thousand for mayor's birthday. Jeez, six new restaurants to appear in city by year's end. Mysterious Rob Spear announced political ambitions. Mister Boy, this is a, this is a very simple test. I'll show you a car with an abstract image. You just took, look at them and tell me what you see. A man taking a full of tablets in his barn. Tch. Me. Two ladies beating drums. Flying several heads. I, I don't know how you can see that. Mm, just guy walking out back into his house.
Yeah, that grand Christmas tea. How can you see this as a dancing queen? Where they're not trying to. Am I giving a woman a Christmas woman down a hill? Yeah, this. <laughs> this is reflecting my life, isn't it? This this is reflecting my life. Yes, it is. Yes, it, this it, this is my life. I'm hundred percent sure. Or his the um Blair's. Days. Never stop out that test. Don't know what's up. Okay, you're gonna go for one more day. There we go. City officials want to demolish my house because of my broken error. If I don't resolve the problem today, my uncle will have a fine and live. Can I have a day off? You can have a day off. Oh, I got one more strife. Are you going back? I'm gonna give this to... Grant. Take this job serious, Grant. Did we get a new, uh... I thought we got a new thing. Did we get a new thing? New play? I thought we did. No? Okay, yeah, I wanna buy a new one. Actually, we didn't even listen to the whole thing. Last one. Uh, was it this one? No, we didn't listen to this one. Yeah. <laughs> With serious music here. Like a detective music. City Hall, a few months ago, an unregistered feminist organization appeared in Freebird. Today, they are holding their first pro protest. As far as we know, the organization is backed by foreign, foreign, foreign sponsors, and their goal is to get their people into an important position in City Hall. They, the protest may escalate into something more serious, and we need to show them who is in charge. Use baton and tear gas, even firearms, is necessary. Show them what them, what intimidation looks like up. Close and personal. Uh, Mr. Boy, your psych is in good shape. My only concern is your stress level. My research shows that Betty the Vans Rubin music suits and relaxes the nervous system. I can recommend you invest in a good old Louis van. It will help with any violence urges you might be feeling. Two minutes to deadline. Yes, I will catch him. Let's be, uh, let us be successful. <sighs> no idea how I'm gonna do this one. And I'm gonna go into the slots, um... Put in the girls. No, actually, don't. No, actually do. I want an old man. I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna go this. I have to send. Shit. Proceed. Jack we have a problem. The chief prosecutor of Freeburg is a woman. It is seen she's on the tire of the Fenomens. You might be walking into some serious legal problems. You better play if it's safe. Take some evidence to show you from any possible persecution. I can't do anything. I will refuse. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it down, right? Oh, I had to do this myself. I didn't know. Yes, yeah, start to investigate. Ah, so there's only a ticket for a Chinese businessman. I want everybody in this. 
This is a serious job. John took several employees hostage and demanded a meeting with the firm's partners. These silent and Jews took me from a ride. They sucked up all my money and my son still went to jail. Okay, I will need to wait until the SWAT comes back. No! No force. I don't want any force to be included in this job. No. I mean... Who knows what the... Uh, uh, job get something going on with casino. As I said, I will look into what kind of case it is if you're trying to kill someone, then I'll put people in there. Jing has always held big deals personally. Chinese bruises man arrived in Freebird last week. He convinced that the necklace was stolen from his family back in the 7th century. Jing Yang typically pretends to be a regular restaurant visitor, tells the buyer in advance which table to find a match. Bo Hu's prefer to travel without bodyguard or driver, so as not to attract too much attention. Jing Yang's always in some pool payment up, payment up front, never deals in cash. Okay, this is a serious threat with a gun, so putting some professional in here. Proceed. We don't have a lot of officers today. What's going on? Play an employee together and put in information for you. I don't have anyone. Shit. Investigation. Can I pull people out? Yeah, you, you can stop the case. Proceed. When can I get my, uh... One day left. Okay. Because I might need a detective. Affairs. Police. Mm. I can't move to shift A. I don't want to. Yeah, I'll just leave like that. <sighs> Robert, your dealer at the casino called the policeman after a man entered the, the parent place carrying a grenade. He threw a duffel bag onto the floor and demanded that he will fill that with money. Oh, but are you so team already? I'll need to wait for the other one. Also, situation. Off in the cot. Officer unharmed, civilian is unharmed. I, guess I need you guys to come back quickly. We need to take care of this case, but we can't at the moment because... Started. Good. This is a cure. Screaming after Jim. Oh, right. Paradise ruined. I'll read this later. Cause I got a more serious case going on. Come back home quickly, boys. There we go. Because this is also he has a grenade. Now this is a serious job. And this time, Birch. I want you to see how this how this thing goes down. Mr. Boy, today we're installing a new slot machine called Super Magdalene 3. The last time we put in a new one, one of the biggest kids, bigger kids, almost broke it the first day. It would be great if you could send us a couple of your men to keep the kids under control. I'll put you these two in. Why don't... Ah, oh, because I put one guy for... What was it? Some kind of... Yeah... It is house breaking down. But still, that's not a lot. Oh, I sent Burst Jr. someone else too. Ah. Wonder why. I sent him for training. A pregnant girl called in a report on a suspicious China lot colleges who she met in reception. The doctor was behaving very strange and attempted to persuade the girl to have an abortion. 
though she was already five months pregnant. Though streaming tears, she explained the doctor said that for only ten thousand, he would save me from parasite inside my body. I don't have anyone that I can send. It's more serious than we thought we were recording. Uh. Uh. We can't. Report. Boss. Hellfighter. Thank you for the 2000. Caught officer unharmed. Good. Good. I think this was a serious case. Good. Disappointed. Jack, we don't know why you did it, but we hope you had a good per reason. Don't forget who your friends are. Oh, that was your case. I don't care. I don't care. I do it for the people, not for you guys. Jeez, there's so much things going on. I'll get to it. Wait. There we go. Put you and him. And then I'll put these two in there. Disorderly conduct. Housewife Takara Montes often, often complains to police about her neighborhoods. They constantly making a racket and often get into fights, always refusing to discuss things with her, with their neighborhood. She called the police again today after hearing two bang, loud, loud bangs in the apartment along with loud screams. According to her, about six or seven people lived in here. I don't think it's a serious case. The mayor himself. Jack, you will swore an oath to serve the city. If you can't keep your con promises, we keep we won't keep ours. Here's the thing, I don't want to beat down people. I don't want to beat down just because they want jobs. But of course, Jack, we're about to bring a large shipment of alcohol, but we heard the new partners like to play rough. We need a couple of your you guys for insurance. I'll refuse. As I said, I don't want mafias to be in this job. I don't want any cops to be in this job. Maybe if you guys were actually just doing... Doctor spots, spots the police, grabs the cable, and bodily shouts, Come on, I'll release your souls from the filthy this filthy world. Try to restrain the doctor. Good. The CJA is more situated than we thought. Requesting reinforcements. Yes, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Send. Fuck! <laughs> Rape! A call of call. All call came in from a hotel occupant who was concerned about the cry of a woman in a adjoining room. Sounds to me like someone is being raped. She had said the frightened elderly woman. You will have to wait. It's like a man coming back in. I'll send these two immediately. I just go. You got three new frames. So the incident incident occurred during the screaming screening of Jim Journey film Strangers in Paradise. The screen is ruined and members of the audience suffered minor injuries in the panic. But unfortunately, no one was seriously. Fortunately, no one's really hurt. I remember that girl with bright red hair. I t sold her ticket. Her ticket after the show started. Although, I usually don't do that, but she was really, really nice. I noticed a bottle in her hand, but I thought it was soda. I wouldn't think such a pretty young lady would come to movie, come to the movies with anything hard. I sat in the last row a few minutes after the film started. I heard someone enter the room and slam the door. I was going to eat, say something, but because I don't like it when someone distracts me from John Morich's vision. Then I saw a flash of fire. And a flaming bottom flows straight at the screen. When the screen caught on fire, I thought it must be a part of a show. You know what I heard? That Jim Jung guy is from a nut house. When the fire started, oh, I'm strong. I immediately start looking around for a way out. And that's when I spotted her, the red-headed fool, she ran away quickly. 
there wasn't any time to do anything. So she tried to block you guys up. What's with that? So I guess she went in. But I never heard, heard anybody say she was trying to block things up. Anything. So I guess she tried to... She ran out after the ship for car. In there. No. I'm guessing this. No. No. No, no, I'm guessing this. Report. Jin Young always handles the big part. Yeah, I already said that. He walks in. And grabs the thing. I need this thing to wait. I need good officers in this. Good. Come on, people. You're my ball day. I'll send these two. It doesn't seem like they're gonna be a serious crisis. And I'll have to arrest the big one. Tomorrow. Shit, because I had to do it by today. I have to arrest her now! Oh, it's until- Ah! Crap. The door is to one of the rooms on the second floor is starting to ajar. Through it can be seen a large man holding a crying girl by the neck. He's striking her face in her face and shouting, Shut up, your whore. I paid to you. Now keep quiet. The girl managed to escape, but her pit leaps for the man. And other, another fight breaks out. The man shoves the pip away and suddenly jumps out the window. Officer offended escape, officer unharmed. Shit. End of day. I couldn't take him down. Boss, I quit. I just had to spend more time with my fa- Man, that's why I put you so much in you, and you now you want to quit? Fuck you. Anyways, I'm gonna end the episode here. I think I failed on the gang thing. I don't know. I had to do it myself. Um, loved it. I still loved it, but I think it's too much for today. I might get more stressed over, and I think my speaking skills are going over. Um, I love the game. If you liked it, please comment down below if you want more. Any games you want, tell me. I love the game. So, anyways, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, subscribe to my channel to see more videos. And press that big up thumb button. And then share the video. Share the fun. Enjoy the video. Enjoy enjoy the video. My name is Board Andy. Thank you for watching. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.